Hello, it's Icy. I'm back with something very interesting. This is about Homestead, the DLC for Elder Scrolls Online, but I'm not actually in the PTS server right now. I'm actually in the live server. I am at the Vile Manse, which is in Reaper's March, which is the entrance to one of the public dungeons. And my goodness me, doesn't this building look familiar? This is basically, apart from these extra towers on the side, this is the this is the building that's used for the Strident Springs Domain House. Um, so I thought that and it's very pretty inside so I thought that I would take you on a quick tour um, if you're like me you don't actually come back to all these ones that often um, and I came back here because I was doing some dailies in preparation for um, homestead so I could collect mats and materials and hopefully get some motives to learn but I came inside and went hey hang on oh my gosh so let's take a look at how this one is decorated because you know that's important get, let's get some ideas okay so we have a couple of dining tables I quite like this small table off to the side um, and we have pilot books kind of like that we have a little bit of an entryway sitting area here with some wardrobes that we better we better look at um, okay so down here so we've got the kitchen set up here so we've got some storage and well that's where the that's where the um, actual uh, public dungeon starts but see this fireplace they've managed to get in here now there's no fireplaces in um, in any of the um, in fact I don't think there's any fireplaces in any of the houses so you'll have to build your own so I'm just looking at this thinking okay so you need basically like a wall piece maybe or several wall pieces um, a bit of a mantle and like the fire pit and then you could just put like a standard cooking fire on top and maybe sink it into the ground a little bit so it looks right um, and we've got some shelves and some workbenches so all great stuff um, here's the other side of the fireplace and you'll note here like it's quite thick so we've got a lot of depth um, so there's another fireplace on this side now maybe it's possible that there are fireplaces as um, instruction sets that haven't been found yet that's entirely possible we'll see I like using the bookshelves in circle shapes rather than angles that's a really great idea and you could put like a tapestry or something here to sort of break that off and make it into like a separate room I think that would look really interesting we've got a little sort of library slash sitting area here now let's go upstairs to the upper area oh, we've got some nice little chandeliers okay so this seems to be the designated bathroom area mine is going to be much fancier than that um good use of screens to make the little doorway there um we've got some more bookshelves around here i like this this is really nice with the cushions um on the wall seat i have to check actually whether the window seat is as deep as this in the stride in the springs house hopefully because honestly that looks fantastic um more bookshelves more bookshelves master bedroom which looks really nice um, and I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if the window is sort of like a bay window like this in the other one I'd have to check I do like the giant chandelier above the bed that actually looks fantastic and you know just a little storage area on this side uh, you'll note they still have the back of the fireplace sticking through and this is like the chimney from downstairs as well and over here now this I love I love this look at these bookshelves these bookshelves they've got double height bookshelves and they've just flipped them over and then stacked them on top of each other um, and then just surrounded the room and made this really fantastic study um, I love this this is I'm totally stealing this idea I was originally thinking I'd make like a bookshelf over here like a library on that side but um, honestly I'm loving it as a separate room 
uh, nice runners on the floor. Okay, so this is the little guest bedroom. No, do I need to see? I need one room for a bathroom and possibly one room for a guest bedroom, which then means that I don't have another separate room for the library. So I'll have to think about whether I want the library in a separate room, but yeah, loving the window seat. So, yes, there's the model for um, the Strident Spring of Domain because most of, the, I'm pretty sure all of the models are just reused, which I guess is sensible. Um, you've got your little dining table here next to the fire, which is very warm and lovely. Um, yeah, so I had wondered where the large imperial one had come from because it was really unusual and I didn't recognize from anywhere. But here it is. So, um, thank you for watching. Are there any other buildings in Elder Scrolls Online that haven't been used for a house that you think should be? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'd be really interested to find some other places that could be used for houses, maybe in the future. Um, do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Do subscribe and click the button over there. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.